Good evening and welcome to Nashua High School North for this evening's contest between the North Titans and the Purple Panthers of Nashua South. The NHIAA and its member schools, thank you for coming to support your team this evening. High school sports, an extension of the classroom learning experience. The student athletes in front of you have worked hard in the classrooms as well as at practice and in the weight room to be able to play here tonight. As we encourage them to demonstrate good sportsmanship, we would also like to ask that you, our fans, help us make this event a meaningful one for our athletes by showing respect to your team, the opposing team, the coaches, and the officials. We thank you in advance for the positive sportsmanship that you will display today. In the unlikely event of an emergency or a fire alarm, all occupants are to leave the building via the nearest exit. There are exits located in all four corners of the gym, but the exit doors located on the bench side will lead directly outside the building. Please be reminded that for the safety of the players, coaches, and officials, all spectators are not permitted on the court before, during, or after the matches. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Before we meet the competitors tonight, we would like to welcome the Elm Street, Fairgrounds, and Penichuk players to this evening's game. Now let's meet the starting lineups for your Nashua South Panthers. Number three, Marin Lowe. Number five, Morgan Gillis. Number 11, Karina O'Donnell. Number 13, Nicole DeJesus. And number 14, Kaharu Tanaka. The Purple Panthers are coached by John Bourgeois. And now for your National North Titans. Number three, Summer St. Pierre. Number five, Lillian Small. Number 11, Nora Ross. Number 13, Angela King. And number 20, Jordan Cartier. The Titans are coached by Kurt Dutilly. Tonight's game is being officiated by Robert Johnson, Rick Wilhelmi, and Daniel Hurley. Tonight's athletic trainer is Elise Murphy. At this time, please stand if you are able and remove your hats for the national anthem. Presenting the colors tonight, is the Nashua JROTC. Singing our national anthem, please welcome Mr. Al St. Louis. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave.
everybody, and welcome to Nashville ETV's coverage of the Battle of the Bridge. Tonight, it is pretty much the premier event, the high school basketball doubleheader. First off, it is the Nashua High School North Titans against the Nashua High School South Panthers in girls basketball. I'm Tom King, along with Rich McDonough, and we have the entire crew here at ETV tonight, a big production, and it should be a big game, Rich McDonough. This is going to be something else. Uh, we just had Al St. Louis sing the national anthem. We had the color guard march onto the court. This brought is the good, house. Yes, this is a biggie. <laughs> this is the biggie. And well, uh, these two teams, it, it was not the way we thought it would go when we saw it at the na in the finals of the National Holiday Tournament, the warm-up act, if you will, 58 <laughs> to 23 in favor of National South. Yeah, a wipeout. But we have two teams on paper, very similar, similarly situated, kind of at the bottom of the playoff bracket. If it ended today, uh, the winner has a major boost. Five, uh, Trinity. Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, the Titans have lost three straight, and at three and five, the Panthers have lost two straight. And yeah, and they and it were the, they were the Pinkerton and the Salem top four teams. Yeah, you know, and you you'd expect that. Although the forty point loss to Salem kind of surprised me, but watch out for that South press. There's not a lot of size on this floor, and South's pressure defense was the difference. Take it away with Amen to that. Well, Panthers get the tip and out of the gate. Nice job hitting it hard is uh, Gillis. She's a senior. She's the. Uh, I think the lone, one of the two seniors on this team, and she gets her crew out running. Yeah, three sport athletes. She yep. can really, she, you know, as she goes, so do so the Panthers. But good passing, can't convert it on their first look, but following with the loose change there is Lily Small. Yeah, and I'll tell you this, this much, they scored a basket about uh, maybe five minutes earlier than they did when they played South the last time. And I think we're going to see a ton of zone tonight, but it's 2-2 with just 45 seconds gone here in the Battle of the Bridge. Always a blast, Tom. Good, hard fight there by Gillis, and picking up the rebound is Nora Ross. She's yeah. a junior, plays some good minutes for Coach. And that's Coach uh, Kurt Dutilly for the Titans, facing off against Coach Bourgeois for the Panthers. And a nice look and a nice drain for this Janilis is, DeJesus. This is already a different game than the one we saw before. Yeah, I was not able to see that game, but driving hard to the hoop is Corinna O'Donnell, and she nets, yeah, she nets was, a pair. She was a big key in that battle. Right, and after DeJesus' is three, O'Donnell gets herself that deuce, and a nice knock away from behind, never giving up on the play, is DeJesus. After she rocked that three, shows she's got both ends of the game and can play some defense. South not exactly using that pressure D that we saw earlier. North has been able to avoid it. Well, I, we're going to see a lot of spread offense. Neither team is particularly large uh, with well, no you know, commanding presence inside, no. but I've noticed they're quick, Tom. But there is the first turnover of the night. And that's critical in pass. any high school sport. All right, now with the ball of the Panthers visiting here, just across the bridge, of course. Swinging around, long, long pass outside to DeJesus. And good try use of the triangle spacing. And there's Tanaka. She's one of the team leaders out here. Really reliable, steady well, presence. Well, the other thing that South did in that, that game against North was they shot the lights out. They had a great shooting night. And, and wow. that's a perfect and, example of what happened. And Tanaka. Not and there's the pressure. Down. And she gets hacked on the arm by Summer St. Pierre, team leader. And at the 539 mark, with the visitors up, they go to the line and up two, seven to five. We're already seeing an example of what happened. The outside shooting followed by the turnover and the pressure defense. And Tanaka knocks down one. Now, Rich McDonough, this is the first hoop game we've done together this year, and you may be familiar with it, I don't know, but the new rule in terms of fouls. Okay, and I'll go over with you next time there's a stoppage in play. Good rebound on the inside, always gotta like that when you're, uh, 
when you're in the second block and you come up with the board. Once you hit the fifth foul in a quarter, two shots, there's no more one and one, and then the team fouls get erased to start the next quarter. That's interesting. Great shot there by O'Donnell. And already, already North needs a timeout down 11 to 5. 526 mark in the first quarter. Rich McDonough and Tom King here for National ETV. And yeah, Battle of the Bridge and the Panthers have come across the river and they own a six point advantage. Well, this is, this is exactly what we saw in the Christmas tournament final was turnovers followed by outside shooting. And that's how South did it. And if they can do that again, that's fine. But so now Kirk Dutilli's got to figure out his defense and try to make sure they can get the ball down the floor. But they've got to figure out the defense because they cannot allow that outside shooting to continue. Well, South shot the lights out. Well, they're terrific on the perimeter. But if you notice, those shots have been open. All right, but your big four are, for the uh, Panthers are Gillis, well, DeJesus, they, O'Donnell, and Tanaka, well, and they're time, already out running. By that time, they broke the press. All right, and kicking it. We are a long way from the action bet down here, Tom. <laughs> good thing I had LASIK surgery. It's still holding up. All right, good outlet pass there to uh, Gillis. Everybody outside the three-point line. Now they come in, they have some cutters. Get somebody up at high point there. Rattling it off the rim is uh, Berger, uh, excuse me, O'Donnell. Traveling. And yeah, she traveled. All right, St. Pierre heads off to the bench. And in comes Kayla Dahl. And also onto the floor for Coach uh, Dutilli is Kathleen Schreiner. She's a freshman and has made an impact early. And you get the trapping up in the forecourt there. And at the midcourt, nice little execution there on your 1-2-2. Two, two. They handle it, they get it over the 10-second line and get into their perimeter offense. Probably don't want to get in a run and gun here, Tom. No, but they have a chance to get an open shot here. They should have taken it. There's nice the open look. shot. And good handle inside by uh, Jordan Cotier. And a nice offensive rebound weak side. But you know what, Rich McDonough? Oh, they did not stop the play. I thought they'd call a jump ball there. Yeah, that's Lillian Small. Light ray for Small to not play Small and stay in there. There's your freshman. And good drive there. You expect that from Morgan Gillis. She's very experienced. Nothing's going to phase her out there, Tom. Yeah, a little bit too aggressive on that trap, but that trap's going to be effective, especially with a small team. If you're looking to pass to break it, which you should, against the fast team. That's the thing is they, they are, you know, South is so good at this press. I'm sure North went over it with film from the last game over and over and over. And they just have to find a way to get around it, and they do. But and it was, it's not easy, is it? Yeah, and another freshman is Alcalay for the Panthers. She was giving good see, presser, you but know what, rotating over. Great yeah, rotation was Amber Wall. But you see what happens, Rich, is once you break it, you're still in a, in a hurry-up mode. Yeah, well, you and, don't want to lose the shape of whatever you're in. Right. But and it Amber causes, Wong got it, a long it, look at that pass. Right, but it causes a little bit of a problem. Right. And I'm looking at Alkali getting underneath. She's tough. I can already see it. She's got good chops underneath, and she gets a board. I think she heard me, Tom. I think so, too, because yeah. she got that rebound. Just a freshman, but doing a good job out there. A lot of these younger players for either squad play with big IQs. And we've seen some of them in the uh, middle school tournaments. Alkali inbounds, finds uh, Tanaka out there. Good hard pressure. Tanaka handles it, gets to the lane, and dishes out to the three-pointer. And banging it down there Tell is Amber you, Wong. That three-point shot has been South's bread and butter against this team. And it is now 16-7 at the 3:15 mark. And it's a Alcala bad gets start herself. for North, and that's not what they wanted, but a good way to stay with it for National North on that Boy, play. Boy, I tell you, they're doubling at every point they can where it makes sense, whether it's forecourt, midcourt, <laughs> and, and back in the And paint. another timeout. I, that, I think Kurt Dutilli is taking two. I think that's his timeout, isn't it? 
I, I couldn't see the. I, I thought see I saw him the, call it. I think that's he's taken two in this stretch. Yeah, we're back here in the corner. It's hard to see through the uh, sidelines here and look up to see the call. In any event, it's 3:08 in the first quarter, and it's that's, a 16-7 Panther lead. Actually, thanks to the thanks to the magic of long long extension cords, I'm you're in the corner and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> What is it, Ferdy Pacheco? Was oh, the greatest great. corner I man this, ever? I need this, like, can, Pete, Pete, is there any way we could just get this extension all the way to my house and I can just do it? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that one. We did that one, right? With Zoom, right? Yeah. It was great. Yeah, it's called optic fiber now. Yeah, I know it, right. <laughs> the only fiber I really know is the stuff I got to eat to, you know, <laughs> yeah. as, as I get older. Ah. Well, I join you in that regard. Yep. All right, 308 hitting the reset. Visiting Panthers in the Battle of the Bridge. Rich McDonough, Tom King on the call tonight. Lots of fun to be with you. And lots always fun to be in this gym. It gets nice and loud. And it was real loud for the Battle of the Bridge with the uh, unified teams yesterday. That was a blast. In the, in the medium gym where we were at? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I didn't watch the JV games, but North's got a 5-4 lead in this. All right, Marin Lowell drives it in, gives it off to Wong. And she zings it around to Gillis. Gillis takes a long look, very experienced, gets it up and gets hacked from both sides. Just a question of who gets the call. And taking that call was Angela King, number 13, and sophomore. And I get to touch the ball here. Tom. How about that, huh? The human ball part of retriever. The game. Uh, part of the game. There we go. All right, 254 going to the line is the experienced senior, Gillis. Looking for her chance to knock down another two and possibly get a double-digit lead. And she does, nice and smooth, great release. And subbing in for North is Ariana Miller, a junior. Schreiner takes a seat. And Gillis knocks another one down, yeah. nothing but nylon there, well, too they, smooth. They've done a great job with their free throws. And Lily Small, very, very savvy freshman. Going with the left, goes down the lane there and gets a lot of, lot of contact. And let's and see. Drawn it, I think drew they, the foul. They drew the charge. Yeah. Uh, drawing the charge was uh, Tanaka. Tenacious Tanaka, freshman on freshman. And back the other way it goes at 243 and up 11 now are the Panthers. Man. What was the uh, margin in the holiday tournament, Tom? After one quarter, I'm not sure, but it was 58-23 was the final. Yeah, that's a beat down. Whoa, getting hit hard from behind by Summer St. Pierre, senior. Senior on senior there, going to the floor is Gillis. And O'Donnell and DeJesus come back these on. Games get oh, they were about these, to come back these on. These games Can't get yet. physical. These, these kids play for keeps. It's well, no they all know it. each other. They've and, known each other for years. And now that foul rule is coming to play. North has five fouls. Nashua South, zero. Yeah, that's... Uh, zero. That is a tale of the tape that bears watching. Well, you don't have to watch it too much after the end of the quarter because it resets. So it goes back to 0-0 zero, zero for right. team fouls. I didn't read my NHFS but, handbook. But personal fouls, that's another thing we got to check at halftime. Because that does not reset. Right. Well, chalk have, up two more from the charity have, stripe for Gillis, and she have not, takes a seat. Yeah, they have not missed a free throw. 20-7, wow. 231 in the first quarter. 20 points is a lot for a half sometimes at this level. And just relentless D. Excellent defense on the inbound by O'Donnell. Gets it across the lane and down through the rack from DeJesus. Talented sophomore getting it done. And she's got already got four points. I think if you're north and you've got a wide open shot, you've got to take it. You need points now. It's not, not about trying to look yeah, for the perfect shot, right? Yeah, that's a 15 foot. Yeah. That's a got, chasm. Yeah, you got to take that. And you might have to put up that lefty right and there. And there we are. And that's why you take it. That's why you take it. Yep. And that's Lillian Small. Again, we said she's just a freshman, but she is real savvy. Excuse me. That, was it Lillian? Yeah, it was Lillian. My goodness. And I answer you back. I think that's four threes in this quarter for Nashville South. And it's a 25-10 margin now. Well, there goes St. Pierre, dishing it off. 
to Ariana Miller. Miller takes a look. She and got a, missing long. She got away with the travel. She slid her foot. Yeah, she did she slide. The Angela, yes. Angie King there. Yep. Well, and the good savvy Tanaka comes down, gives it back, redirects, gets it around the perimeter. There, most of the team is around that three-point line all night so far, Tom. Ah, uh, Tanaka <laughs> got a little aggressive, tried to go in with the bucket shot, didn't work. Yeah, she found herself directly under the backboard. Nothing doing at that point. All right, working around the arc there. It's Cotier again. And another got her pocket picked, picked up. by De Jesus. Boy, she's good. She has made an impact. Sophomore. Here's Coach Tanaka Bourgeois is liking what he again. sees. Ah, Tanaka trying to drive that lane. Or, you know, you, you got less than a minute to play. Work the shot. Well, don't, work, don't work the lane. Work the shot. Yeah, and King had a long look at it from the backside on the help side there. And a good three-point by King. Two three-pointers are getting North back into this slowly but surely, 25-13. Well, and I like the attitude there. Is, uh, King made a great steal. So what does she do? She gets open, and you feed her. Yep. Good job. And the, here the crowd counting down. Launching one there is DeJesus. Nothing doing it back. She gets her own rebound. Oh, Would have been bad. good if it went. Not bad. Boy, and at the end of one, folks, that's 25-13. Almost doubling up the hometown or I should say the home court Titans are the Panthers in yet another installment of the Battle of the Bridge. But I think we only have two more left, Tom. Right? That's Boys true. Boys game coming up and then wrestling? Did, Pete, did John Collins drop this water off for me? That's what I thought. <laughs> ah, yes, then don't exactly. drink it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, this is, you know, but those two three-pointers have Huge. put North back in the game. He, back in the I game. I mean, it was 25 to 7. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise they might have been staring oh, it would have been, at a 20-point 20, uh, 20 deficit. Oh, yeah, because, exactly. Uh, you know, and the Panthers tough. are hot. And the one thing is, is in two previous meetings before the game last uh, on, the, on the 20, I think it was the 28th, before those two, uh, before that game, in the two previous North-South games, South had big leads and blew it. This time they didn't do that because they just were so tenacious on defense. And Very, I mean, as tenacious as we've seen on any basketball game we've done. Right. Outside exactly. of that, uh, I think, was it you and I we called the North and Bedford game last year? Yes. Which was a war. Well, I went to, to see the, uh, the North Bedford boys game uh, this year, and it was a war again. I think it was a five-point game. Yep, it was. So here we go with quarter number two. Quarter number two and up five, up uh, 12 now are the, Panthers, the visiting Panthers. Now the Panthers won't get those trips to the line that they had, but now they got their first foul. And uh, O'Donnell takes and it, one. And it draws a cheer from the Titan bench, bench <laughs> almost like a Bronx cheer. Sarcasm is not dead, my friend. All right, inbounding is Summer St. Pierre. Experience savvy, she knows what to do with the ball. Oh. Big shove, physical by Miller. And got away with it. Knocks the Jesus to the I ground. Knocked no her call. right down. <laughs> that's amazing. I could see that from here. And he another foul on South. Boy, that's uh, insult you know to what? injury. You know what? John John Bourgeois is sitting there quietly. He didn't uh, jump up off his chair and you know throw his arms up. But Getting that's a big the... deal because if North can come back from the line, they can do it. And Miller can't drain that one, nope. picking it up as O'Donnell. And down the center of the court she comes. She dishes it out to the three-point side. Short is Brooke Berger. Can't get it down. And back come the Titans in the hands of St. Pierre. She dishes it left and finds uh, Small. And they wheel it around the perimeter. They want to get some settled offense here, and nice oh, backdoor. Nice pass. Look at those two beautiful, passes. And beautiful rotation by Gillis to get that block. Now let's see what South does if they rush shots. They've rushed their last couple of shots. Oh, wide open. She's got to take it. Excellent pump fake. Uh, froze the whole defense, and O'Donnell had a good look at it. Couldn't get it to drop. And then Gillis gets the rebound back to O'Donnell, who front and back rims it there. And at 647, down 25-13. Nashua North gets the ball and goes back on offense. But we always got to look at with uh, when it comes to the Panthers here, 
They are tenacious in the front court. Well, I'll tell you what, though. Suddenly, those rebounds that South was getting, now North has started to get them. That's been a big key in their comeback now. It's only a 12-point game. They can cut it to 10 right here. And that had to be Coach Dutilli's message there. It's it's hustle, and they're getting out hustle. And Beautiful go. drive. Got to be decisive against that defense, and she was. Yeah, Lillian Small goes beautifully. Little floater with the right hand. DeJesus comes back down, nails it. Don't you love her game? Love her game. You really do. And the sophomore early on in the season is averaging seven points a game. She's already at that level uh, and passed it. She's got herself nine in the early going. But it's a game now, though. It's a 12-point game. North can now see some daylight a little bit, right? Sure, because you've gotten a few buckets, and you feel good about it no matter what. But Except beautiful drive. Except move by O'Donnell. Oh, my goodness. A bucket mm -hmm. shot. Unbelievable. Using the other side of the rim as a pick, essentially. Oh, and incredible. O'Donnell, that was a beautiful finger roll. Great court sets. A backside finger roll. Good job, of O'Donnell. And another south foul. They now have three. So pretty soon, <laughs> pretty soon, North will go to the line and not for one on ones. There are no more one on ones, which we've done. It's all two shot fouls. And uh, subbing in for Lowell is Tanaka. And Tanaka had herself a good first quarter. Must be the orange shoes, Tom. Got to be. Got to be. Love those shoes, don't All you? All right, 546. It's 29 15. Visiting Panthers are up. Double digits and they have been for a while. And going to the ground and showing a little discomfort is Alkali, who's now, been given some good physical minutes. Yeah, the call was a not a jump ball. It was, I mean not I mean not a foul, it was a jump ball. Okay. That's a tough uh, jump ball call because it was completely reached around. Exactly. Yep. All right, short rim right there for DeJesus and Ricochets. And we're at 526 and 29-15. And now we have the first, uh, we have a south foul? Or no? Oh, we do have a south foul. So they will shoot, I believe, right? Or is it an offensive foul? They've got five team fouls yeah, up there. On the, on the arm in that scrum five fouls. for that. Yep, they're going to shoot. Wow. So with 526 to play in a half. Red dots. Oh, we've got them on the screen. Okay. Yeah, new addition here. Yes. We got uh, yep. we got fouls. Right. So okay. underneath the south, you'll see the five red slashes or hyphens or dots, and uh, that'll indicate the foul count, and that puts you, as Tom King explained so deftly, at the foul line for two. And knocking it down is Ariana Miller, a junior. Cuts the lead to 13 with a chance to cut it to 12. Nice and smooth by Miller, and it's 29-17 now, 526 in the second quarter, our first half, Battle of the Bridge. Rich McDonough, Tom King here on the call. Glad you're with us on Nashua ETV. Look for our posts on our YouTube channel within 24 hours or so. Always fun to watch, share it with your family and friends. Launching it from deep and three as O'Donnell can't get the roll. DeJesus tries to bank it in, nothing. And physical play underneath between Cotier and Alcalé. They are going to call a jump ball. See, that was and truly a jump ball. Everybody yep. had hands on it. Nobody was reaching, et cetera. And it goes to the hometown squad. And here comes that real tenacious press. And trap, instantly a trap. You got to get it out in front. Good job passing. And that's a double dribble, but yeah, no but call. They keep the defense right there. She knocks it out of bounds. Well, it's going to be a turnover, I believe. No, it's going to be still North Ball. How'd but it was, it was really good defense and pressing by uh, Nashua South because they didn't lose their shape and they got them into basically a pen where they were all hemmed in. Ooh, bounce passes there are very dangerous. And good job there by Cotty. I just couldn't get it up and over the rim and hurting so, her knee so right there. That you don't want to see that so from your leader, Gillis. Here's the question, Rich McDonald. Yes. The five team fouls. The fact that now North will have a free throw bonanza for the next four and a half minutes. 451. Does that limit South's tenacity on defense? 
do they kind of take a step back? That's I don't know. A tough, I think you play your game. Call. That's a tough call. I don't know. I coached basketball and, and then lacrosse for 30 Juan, years. That's yeah. a good timeout. His it might is, send him that message. His team is out of sorts a little bit. They're not dominating what, the way they were. What I think it could do, Tom, sure, you want to use some caution. You want, still want to be your, t your same team. You don't want to lose your ethos. Yep. And what I think it does is if you get another foul and another foul, sure, they're going to the line. What it also does is it stops the clock and the frenetic pace with which South was playing. Gives North a breather. It just changes. Yeah. It slows things down. Yep. And that's where Psyche and sideline coaching. So got, that's going to be a tough call. It's a fine line to walk for the Nashville South Purple Panthers against the Titans and Nashville, Nashville North taking advantage of that. Well, if they foul down. Miller, we saw how, how absolutely smooth she is at the free throw line. Oh, yeah. So I wouldn't want to send her up there. All right, 440 to go in the first half, second quarter in the girls varsity basketball game. Battle of the Bridge South up 12 and Tanaka trying to yes. notch a three. Can't do yes. it. Goes suddenly, long. Suddenly the three pointers aren't falling. And suddenly the steals aren't coming and North is getting back in this game. I wouldn't be surprised to see it be single digits before the end of the half. Well, and here's where that's a big block. Uh, Morgan Gillis, Gillis oh, yeah. the leader, the senior. Yep is going to come. She's been rotating beautifully on defense, getting to the help side. Well to, well done there. And that's the kind of thing that can Ooh. change the tide. And good job early on with her minutes has been Ariana Miller. We were just crediting her free throw ability. And now she gets over there and slaps the ball away from Gillis during Did that, shot. and in the sequence before, she got that dirty rebound underneath. Good job by Miller, I'm impressed. All right, but inbounding for the Panthers is Morgan Gillis. Gets it long, finds uh, O'Donnell up at the top. So in some ways, North has already weathered the storm. Now they've got In a... some ways, correct, huh? Yep. There's another one. And wow, Ariana Miller. And she's quite happy, and she should be. She has come off and played very well in this sequence. Ariana Matumbo. She came off the she's bench. She's the enforcer in the middle right came now. Came off the bench and is really, really Giving North a lift. And here comes Lowell. You got to like that Lowell Gillis uh, backcourt right now. Yep. No, South, looking with for those outs, South looking for those outside threes. And O'Donnell, nice head fake, gets to the rim, and puts it off the glass. And that's what O'Donnell's done best in this game is driving the ball to the hoop. Well, and cr credit to her teammates for leaving the floor just spread enough for her to create a lane for herself. Nice job. 325 and counting. It's 31-17 for the Panthers. But dumping it in there is Lillian Small. Nice pass over to St. Pierre for the hoop. Or a little small for the hoop. Yep. And feeding the feeding the point there, the top of the uh, the, the uh, high post there is uh, the freshman Alcalay. Smart. She knows how to kick it out well. I like it. She didn't just turn to look to shoot. And here you always got to like the hands of, in the hands of O'Donnell. Look at that. Chin's always up with O'Donnell. Lowell takes a look, dishes it over to Alcalay. Alcalay, nice pump fake. And she might have taken too many steps. I think she did. It wow. went for a travel call. Christian Tilly said so. NBA ref crew, yep. it happens. So it's 33 19. <laughs> so did Jordan Cottier. She was saying, you know, what's going on here? Right. She needed to put on the black and white striped shirt. Yeah. All right, 2.30 even to go, and it's 33 19. Hometown Titans are finding themselves down in the Battle of the Bridge, number one for the evening. And looking to create, but not able to, is Lowell. She dishes it back over to Gillis. Gillis swings it. That's and drawing too much. Ooh. That was contact before the travel from yes, uh, there was. Angela King. And coming into the game is Schreiner. And King has a seat. And 216. <coughs> and inbounding at four. The Panthers is Brooke Berger. There you good see sophomore. It. South has done a good job to stay uh, to not foul in the last two and a half minutes. And savvy play there by uh, DeJesus. Uh, DeJesus back has it out. to pass that off. She's yep. triple teamed as soon as she gets in the lane. Yeah. Good hands there by Marin Lowell just to disrupt the flow. Watch out here. Good North hard drive. Nice drive. Boy, Cottier is good. She had a good game the first time. She is a good player. 
All right, it's back to a 12-point lead, 148 and counting. Good handle there, wise handle by Marin Lowell. Watch out, it's a turnover, there it uh, is. A deflection by, uh, by Miller and Moonball, and, and then foul. a little too much contact from uh, Wong. And should go to the line to shoot two. It's almost like a shooting foul, but now all of a sudden, North is beating South at their own game. And that after that blocking foul, and with the new rule, to the line goes Summer St. Pierre. She's been there before. 139, 33, 21 has a chance to cut it to 11 or 10, Tom. I'm telling you, before this half is over, I think it's gonna go single digits. Mark the words, folks. We'll see. We're going to Vegas if it happens. Yep. Well, with the temperature outside, I wish we were going to Vegas no matter what. <laughs> All right, St. Pierre can't convert both, gets the front end, misses the back end. 33-22 with a buck 30 left in the second quarter and first uh, half. She, she would have taken that three-pointer earlier. Somebody's in her head right now. De Jesus not, she's great. She takes a look, had a great look at it, can't get it to go. And a good rebound by Small, tries to ferocious sideline defense there, pressing, pressing, pressing on the Panthers. North using some lateral passing now to break that press. I think in the first game they tried to beat it one on five. This time they're getting the players that are open for passes. Well, and then smartly they're they're following the the, the ball. And into that's space. a big three. There it is. Huge, huge three what did I tell by you? Lillian Small. And that does cut it to a one point lead at eight. Uh, and we're under a single minute. Single digit lead. Right. And wow, I tell you Miller Miller is player of the quarter if she has just given standout minutes. And we're at 47 seconds. Panthers keep the ball. And inbounding it will be Gillis giving it up to her wingmate there, O'Donnell. All right, good side. Gillis gets it in her right. One, two, trying to do too much. Too much, but it ricochets well, off here's the mistake of she, Here's the mistake she made. She tried to duck and cover. She tried to go underneath with the layup. Go up with the shot. Go up right away with the shot. You were going to get fouled. And she didn't do it. Now they're looking for O'Donnell deep. Good rotation over by O'Donnell left. into space. And no, Gillis not even close. front rims it, but good. Way to get to the board is Tanaka can't drain it. And now we got another uh, so, jump ball. Should go south way. Should go south way. So we'll have an inbound under the basket. And as usual, Gillis will take it. But here's it. what I'm seeing from South. Tired legs. Tired legs. See those three pointers? They're not even close. And a wow. foul on North. And we have three on three right there. Yep. But so. still not a shooting foul. It'll have to be inbounds from nope. the side. Yeah. Oh, they're going to go inbounds from the side, right where Kurt Dutilli is standing should be. As we've lost the live stream temporarily here. 33 At least we have here. 33-25 in uh, favor of the Panthers, but it was 23-7 at one point. It was a 16-point lead. It's been cut in half. All right, 26 seconds left. Up eight are the Panthers. They're dry. I think they're going to hold. I think offense. they're going to try to hold for the last shot if they can do it. As they should. As they should. Good person is Gillis. Well, Gets forget it to that. Jesus. Forget no that way. strategy. The Aces wasn't buying it. There is no lacking of confidence in that young person. And we're at five seconds. And a and foul. Cartier draws a ton of contact at 2.3 yep. seconds left. And, and she goes a to the foul. Straight. She will go to the line to shoot two. Well, they cut it to eight. And it's back to uh, 11 right now. But Cartier can, um, she can bring it to, to nine, nine and bring it to nine at halftime which is doable. Then we'll have a track meet with 2.3 seconds left, no matter what happens. Well, it's gonna stay double digits. <laughs> no matter what. And in comes Alcala, who's been really good, done a unless, good job down low. Unless <laughs> they get the rebound and follow it up, which or, is, or they steal the inbounds pass and get a quick layup before the buzzer. I've and that's that probably happen. why Alcala came in. She's a physical presence on a generally small team. I'd get Miller up on that inbounds pass. She's got quick hands. And, and Kadia drains it. Oh. And that makes it a 10-point lead. No pressure. Gillis is going to take Gillis. the She'll shot. She'll launch it. 
Watch and it out. misses everything. Yep. Wow, what a first half, Tom King. 36-26 here at halftime, everybody. It is Nashua South up by 10 here at the Battle of the Bridge. And now it's time for DJ Petey Beat to take things over. Stay with us. If I could be you, and you could be me for just one hour. If we could find a way to get inside each other's minds. If you could see you through my eyes instead of your ego. I believe you'd be surprised to see that you've been blind. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. Yeah, before you abuse, criticize, and accuse. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. Well, before you abuse, criticize, and accuse. Walk a mile in my shoes. Welcome back, everybody, to Titans Gym here on the campus of National North High School. I'm Tom King, along with Rich McDonough. The Battle of the Bridge, and it is a battle. This is a good game. It is 36-26. I think pretty much, Rich McDonough, what happened was North figured out a way, A, to beat the press, and Nashville South's shooting wasn't quite as good in the second quarter, and they also sent North to the line. So yeah. this is gonna be an interesting third quarter. I think this is where this game is gonna be decided. Well, and it looked like it was gonna be a blowout yep. until they started working, I think a little hustle started yep. to happen, exactly. and then that changed the game. All right, Titans out with possession early in the third quarter, trailing by 10, 36-26. And real hard foul right there by Cotier. And Tanaka hits the deck. And at 7.30, it's going to go the other way. Once again, as Tom King explained for all of us, quarter by quarter, we have foul situation rather than halves. And if you get to five, you're shooting two. Much like when you get to 10 in the college game or what have you, yeah, uh, you are shooting two. So no more one and one no That more takes one one. away a little bit of strategy, you know? Yeah. Well, it's an interesting, uh, you know, wrinkle, and we'll see how it goes. Oh, you don't O'Donnell, have to make it permanent. O'Donnell passed up an open three. He had an open shot. That'll be up. a headline in and of itself. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Tanaka was going to take that. O'Donnell's taking it, but that wasn't open. See, she had the chance earlier. Oh, what a weak side. Yeah, rebound. ferocious. Great. De Jesus. The smallest player on the floor grabs the offensive board. If I'm Kurt Dutilli, I'm telling my kids that does not happen. She is hustling hard, hard, hard Saw tonight. Sorry, the elementary, I mean, not the elementary, the middle school middle tournament. Middle school, right. Yeah, and she was really strong, strong player. Well, and she had 13 in the first half, Tom. Can't add one right there, gets another shot, as we just explained. And she paced the team with 13. Her uh, teammates, O'Donnell and Gillis, had nine and eight, respectively. But here comes DeJesus for try number two, and this time, she buries it, and that runs her total up to 14 and runs the lead to 11. Yep. And always good to get it in the hands of Summer St. Pierre. But here's that relentless that trapping press, defense. That pressure is something else. So what you do is you do the old-fashioned playground game. Bonk it off their knee, right? Off their leg, and it goes out of bounds off them. That's hey. what you do. I wonder if they'll ever re they'll visit that rule. You know, you play all that hard D, and you can just ricochet it off somebody else. Too many questions to ask. All right, 647. Too, too deep of a discussion. Yeah, down 11. Look at that defense. Hand on the Relentless ball Relentless defense, times. exactly. They, I think they got into kind of a funk in that second quarter, did the Panthers, 
and they've really stepped their game up. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, the North is playing much better. It looked like they were going to get run out of the gym again, and they're playing much better this second time around against the Panthers. Well, and Lily Small got her hips square and went up, and she had 14 points so in the what, first half. What they've got to do is, is in the, in the, what they've done, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Because what I was saying Don't you have is to what, call that? what North's got to do is play better half-court defense, and they did fine. They did fine. It's, you know, the one player gets open and doesn't hit, and hits it, and, and the one player open here for North in front of us doesn't hit it. All right, Angela King can't sink that three, following the other one, and it's 40-28 at the 5:45. Yeah, she had the North. idea to go drive the lane, and unfortunately, the ball got slapped away. All right, nice one defense thing to... by North. Yeah, she traveled. Once she once she got that yeah, knee on the ground, yeah. Once she get the knee the on the foot. ground and yep. slide a little bit, you know, all you got to do is slide an inch. We're gonna call it. What North can't do is panic. It's 12 points. You hit two shots, and all of a sudden it's single digits again. Right. You just got to remember that. It's not insurmountable, and it's not too early, and it's not too late. But a little patient offense, very settled offense the first couple of times down for the Panthers. Good dish down the lane, and nice triangle shape, oh. and a good feed to Alcalay. She can't sink it, but draws a lot of contact underneath. And it stays with the Panthers at 520. And Kurt Gentile didn't like whatever call that was for the out-of-bounds call, I would imagine. Yeah, and they were all holding their heads Tanaka a bit. Tanaka wanted to take that three. Gillis is going to take it, I think. Yep. No. Good perimeter offense there. Good Gillis is a good by North. She's a good shooter, good person to yeah, have it in her hands. It's a chance to run right down. And here comes Lily Small. Oh, wow, for a freshman, she has done amazing work. Doesn't look like a freshman, does she? <laughs> I mean, she does it. She doesn't play it. with it. Athletically, she, the way she carries herself on the floor does not look like a freshman. Yep. And another person who had a good good showing off the bench was Miller. Well, I thought Miller changed the game with her She defense. did. Her hustle, her yeah. rebounding. I thought she changed the game. Doing a lot of that uh, kind of grinder, lunch bucket work type. And then back into the game comes uh, DeJesus, who's had a real good game, 13 points, as we mentioned earlier. She had three threes in that first half. And started out with one. Boy, everybody left us. <laughs> and Miller goes, gets I a mean, little contact I mean, from behind. I mean, behind. everyone was, was down the other end of the floor. Didn't it seem that way? So it felt like it. For north inbounds? <laughs> I figured that was two points automatically. It's kind of a hide, hide the ball trick in other sports. Really? I know it. <laughs> All right, we wind down toward the 430 mark. Rich McDonough and Tom King here tonight for Battle of the Bridge, part one of the evening. Boys to follow, should be a, a very good game there. And good swat by Jordan Cottier. They blocked three shots in the last five minutes. North is getting, playing much better defense uh, than they did at the start of the game. Start right. of the game, South had all those wide open threes, they were taking them. Now every shot is just about contested. All right, and Kayla Dahl comes in. She has three personals, number 14. Watch that, folks. Oh. She's really the only one in foul trouble on the floor. And she gets a rebound, goes to the deck, and draws a foul. Or did she, or did travel. she travel? I believe they're going to call they a travel. travel. We've got a three-ref yep. rotation here tonight, so we've got eyes everywhere. Yes, so watch out, Rich McDonough. <laughs> Those snacks, you got to keep, you know. I'm on my well, New Year's resolution, TK. Yep. I'm doing a good job so far. All right, inbounding as usual as Morgan Gillis finds it and whips it around the perimeter. Nice swing and getting travel before the chuck from behind to Jesus traveled. And there's another turnover. Turnovers, Tom King. Let's put our eyeballs on those. And down 12 come the Titans. And they've got to break this press. They do it, get it to Summer, and she finds the wing. And Cartier tries to drive, but draws attention and a foul from De Jesus. Ooh, that's an interesting. That was. I don't know. I mean, let, him, let him play there. Let him play there and let Cartier, because you hope North can get two points off this possession because Cartier was in the. She was going to go right in the lane for a layup, and the foul kind of took that away from him. All right, and Dahl inbounds it. Gets it over to Summer St. Pierre. Can't drain that one. De Jesus is off to the races. Thinks better of it and then gets it outside to perimeter Ooh. and to O'Donnell. 
And they start working their patient offense. There's Tanaka from the wing. Can't do that, but there's DeJesus again. Boy, she fights. She fights. So that's a hard-working player right there. O'Donnell launches it. Can't get it off the kiss. Yeah, O'Donnell yeah. rushed it. Yep, and St. Pierre with the rebound. Yep, but uh, I'll tell you, DeJesus got so high for that rebound. All right, here comes the pint-sized doll ready to uh, create. Gets to the wing and the perimeter, and Cadier dishes it to her. She looked for one second, passed it up, did uh, Dahl, and front rimming it as oh. Cotier, and it goes off of Tanaka at the 318 Dude mark. smiles as, <laughs> hey, you as know what? she knew the feeling. It was hustle all around, and no matter which way it breaks, your coach, as a coach, you're happy about that. Of course you want the ball, but you're happy about the hustle. I want to see more from the student crowd. Look at De Jesus. You know? I want to see more from the student crowd. They're kind of quiet. You know, they're going to be loud in the boys' game. Get loud in the girls' game. Well, why don't you start breakdancing like uh, Diaz oh, did last night? That was unbelievable. That what was beautiful. a fun game to do, that unified game. Sign me up every year. Yeah, I that agree. That is just a blast. Can we bottle that and just give it out for free? Because the energy was incredible. Oh. All right. Here comes Gillis looking to create. She goes down, chin up all the way, draws a bunch of contact, no foul, but it goes off and out of bounds, and it's going back the other way, and here come the Titans Gillis still. Got, Gillis got a little anxious yeah, there. I think yeah. she thought she was going to be able to take the ball all the way. If you're dribbling that fast and you're going, take it. Take it all the way. See what the call is after that. Test your vertical. Yep. Might get a hack. Here's the pressure. And look at that press. It is tough. And the that's a great to job. Call a timeout. Who's there for the rescue? Miller. And overcooking the grits. Miller, I think she should have gone to the bucket. Yeah, I think she should have too. But, you know, Cotier is a great force under there. Can't blame her for wanting to feed the big. And, uh, you know, next time she'll learn. Like I, I've said to you over the years, Tom, my old coaching line was experience is what you get when you don't get what you want. There you go. And we have a more experienced Miller there. But she's given great quality minutes. And boy, do I have a lot of experience. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're playing for Vegas tonight. 40 to 28. Uh, hey, look, I told you we'd get down to single digits during the, the second quarter. During the quarter. second quarter. But it's been stuck at 12 for quite a while. It's stuck at the same score, 40 to 28. That's way off by yeah. Tanaka. Oh, yeah, nice Tanaka job. missed that by, by a foot, but she got her own rebound. Yeah. That, that, was, a, that was a guilt. I'll tell you like, what. North is taking South out of their offense. They're doing a good job. They sure are. With their de their half court defense is what can get them back into this thing. Well, and that zone is suffocating Every right now. Every shot the top is of rushed. The board, no call. Yeah, really. I thought that would have been out. Yep. There's a layup coming. Wait, no. Oh, Three nice pointer. dish out to the wing. Long Ooh, can't the get back it. Rim. Oh, and a good collision and there. Wong the is going to take On the Wong. foul. Yep. Yep. Two fifteen, and it's forty twenty. It remains. It's as frozen as the outside, Tom. So our live, uh, live stream picture, can we get it full? Get it full? Oh, there we go. The oh, this, oh, this is, oh, really? Oh, OK, all right. I just Technical wanted to see. Difficulties it, well, even I was in able to see the fouls. That's why. <laughs> all right. And here we go. We broke free, broke loose. Oh, she almost walked, walked but she, no call. No, there was no almost. She did. Yeah. <laughs> but hustle, wow, hustle, what hustle a save. is Dahl. Miller. Probably like her brother. Great lacrosse player. And over the line, but staying at this end. I'm telling you, you want the basketball, you're going to have to fight for it. I think if North can get a bucket here, it melts a little of the ice, Tom. I think it does, too. But it's only 152. We're under two minutes. There hasn't been a bucket in about four minutes. I'm, I think we've gone four minutes without a, without a hoop. I thought I was going to run out of ink tonight, but nope. They saved me. All right, inbounding is Dahl. Breaks it up from the top of the key. And it's a tie up there between Summer St. Pierre Jump and ball. O'Donnell. Who's it going to go to? It's going to go to South. Ouch, that's a turnover. And just when they were looking to break that ice, it well, remains frozen, and here so, come the Panthers. Somebody's got to score sooner or later, right? You would think. <laughs> but remember in our uh, unified game last night, somebody put the covers over the bucket in the third quarter, yeah, and it's happened no again. Kidding. All right, it 142. Was it was 
at halftime. So we are at four to two. We've only had six points. Four to two in the score in this quarter with 142 left. Well, if you're Panthers, you don't care if you win ugly or slow, whatever, you just, you just win. win. And Alcala, talented freshman, tough. And seeing the look off the defenders and then push it into the alley. Nice job. And DeJesus launches another one. Oh. She's been hot tonight. Couldn't get that one to drop. And it goes out of bounds and back to the Titans. 129. I feel like if they can get a bucket or two here, Tom. If they can cut it to single digits going into the fourth quarter, then we got you, you got yourself a, a real good comeback. Absolutely. But and the pressure, no, there's a way to do it. Get so it that over was smart. to the middle. Give and go, even get it on the inbound middle. play. Yep. And Dahl's given some real good minutes to Coach Dutilly here. Yeah, and, and an off ball foul. Ooh. Away from the ball foul. Too it's much gonna, too much contact it's on the be away pick. On north, I believe. Yeah, offensive foul. South ball. And you know, that's just savvy. Yep. You see the cutter, you see an away pick. And they explain the call to Kirk Dutilly, who says that's fine with me. I, I see it. <laughs> Uh, it was pretty obvious, though, but that is savvy, and, you know, that's good coaching as well, in addition to good IQ by two smart players out there. 116 in the third quarter. Panthers are up 40 to 28 in the opening evening Battle of the Bridge. Part one, Rich McDonough and Tom King, as we've had a mega slowdown in this quarter. Yeah, after a pretty, don't, uh, yeah, don't get lulled to sleep because we, we won't have this in game two. <laughs> There's no such thing as a slowdown in that with those two teams play. But every time they get a ball, they try to trap. And that's good smart ball to get it back away from the pressure. And finding somebody in the alley just couldn't get the drop was Morgan All right, we're Gillis. Under, we're under a minute. 47 seconds left. South's got the ball. Is somebody going to score here? Good heads up play. Way to kick it out to no, DeJesus. No, that's not going to happen. DeJesus had the hot hand. Not so right now. And we're winding down to 30. Count them off. And there's Miller again. There's the layup right now. And a Let's turnover. See. Yep. And way That's to it. use your body by Morgan Gillis. Yeah, she did a good job. You know, she got her hip turned yep. to avoid the, the charge. Yep, get the way of the defender so there's no charge. Get the ball, keep the defender away from the ball. And that extends the Panthers' lead to 14 as we bleed the third quarter out to nine seconds left. And the Panthers have the ball again. Maybe looking to create one more try and get it into a middle double digits lead. And smart, they roll the ball down to preserve every tick on that clock. O'Donnell picks it up, feeds it over to uh, Lowell. Lowell backs it to Gillis. Gillis from the three, can't strike it. It's Nothing doing eight. on the tray. So a low scoring third quarter but one in which the Titans are still in control. I'm mean, not the Titans, the Panthers still in control, up 42-28. But I would say we went, I didn't mark down the times of the last bucket, but I would say we went four minutes, four minutes, without anybody scoring a point in that quarter. That's uh, dramatic. And look, at, look at the, uh, the intensity in that timeout. You saw Morgan Gillis imploring her teammates saying we got a quarter to go to win the battle of the bridge but was it shades of thing to come we had decidedly more activity toward the end of that third quarter there yep, Tom. Exactly. yeah exactly all right dylan smith showing you a little of the uh sights maybe some sounds as the teams gear it up for the final eight minutes in frame four here at our Battle of the Bridge part one. Boys are coming up, they follow up after they warm up. And the that's the horn. Three, it's a, you know, you're up, you're up 14. You, you know, you could have been only up four if North could have generated some offense. Well, and as we said earlier, to start out the show in the game tonight, Tom, I, whoever comes out with this victory hops up in the, in the seedings. And it's important to get on the top side of that log jam as you get into, uh, as February approaches, I think. You only got 14 teams that are gonna make it. You certainly wanna be at the 10-11 mark. And intent on not having that happen is uh, Lillian Small. Lily Small, as I said, she had 14 in the first half. I think she's got five already here. 
Big bucket by Small. Yeah, huge. And drawn the first foul of the fourth quarter of the hometown Titans. North. And inbounding as Gillis gets it over to O'Donnell. North needed that. They had gone four and a half. They without, did. Without, they without did. A, without a hoop. Sure, they only. It's still a double-digit lead. But whenever there's hope, there's hope. And another foul by yeah. North. I'd still. Well, and, it's another and, foul, but it's only their first foul of this yeah. quarter, and that's that's fine. What you find is that teams have to all of a sudden realize they got a foul. They, they have got, to rush second. Get, they have to rush to get fouls in so you can send the other team to the line when they're trailing. Well, Dutilli wasn't happy oh, about nice, that one. Nice ball movement by South. Well, and they're keeping oh, their oh. floor spacing is excellent right now. Gillis goes with right. the kiss. Gillis is just taking over this She's game tough. for South. She's tough. She was tough last year when we called them, too. And she's still tough. And equally tough is Cotier. She goes in, gets to the deck. Gillis helps her up. Good sportsmanship, 7.09, and it's 44-31 Panthers. Well, and we get first uh, appreciable subs coming in. I do like the game that Tanaka's been playing tonight. But that's good, though, because you're going to need those fresh legs because the, the key right now for South is they're just going to try to play D, D the heck out of this game. Well, and you got to weather the storm that you know is coming. Well, I don't know if that storm is going to come or not. <laughs> if, if North can't get open shots, it's going to be tough. Look at O'Donnell. O'Donnell was ready to take that shot off the dribble. <laughs> Probably should have. Yeah, she's a whip. She's ready to go anytime. Not able to get that down is Tanaka. Look at, Gillis. But Gillis, Look at Gillis. Gillis being the senior. Yep. Dirty rebound and an equally excellent shot there. And now the lead is up to 15 with 6.44 to play. Wow. That's their largest lead since what? 23-7, uh, was it, Tom? So, you, so, yeah. So, the word is one team's got Morgan Gillis and one team doesn't because Gillis being the senior, as we said, has shown it in this game. She's taken it over in a way. Well, interestingly enough, both teams have a few upper class and a lot of youth. Well, we got a foul. Yeah, a little too yep. much contact yep. in the lane. Contact, so it's a foul. On yeah, that south. one's called on, Mil on uh, excuse me, uh, Berger. We're 2 2 in fouls here at the start of the game. If quarter. that was Berger, that's her fourth. There four fouls already called in this quarter. All right. From long range. There it is. From long range. I tell you, Summer St. Pierre needed that one. And yeah, it's we, back haven't to called her, we haven't called her name much in this game. Only in spades. So she's made good plays, but uh, they've shut her down pretty well. And good defense. Way to get a hand up without fouling, but tough outlet pass. And uh, St. Pierre can't catch up with that. 6-14 to go. 46-34. For the Panthers in the fourth fourth quarter, and we got a ref's official timeout on the floor. Wow, Tom! Some defense down the stretch and in the lane there forced that one out, but they couldn't get that outlet pass at a time when they desperately needed it. Yeah, and that's key. 46-34. We're right back where we were before. It's 6:14 left to play in the game. 12-point lead. For the Panthers, North just needs a run. They haven't been able to get a run. And, well, and with, with the frenetic, tough defense that the Panthers it's can play. It's hard to do it, right? Yeah. And, and what that tough defense does at this point, Rich McDonough, is take seconds off the clock. Amen. Right? Amen. Makes it longer for North to get a shot off and harder, and that takes more time, and... Time is not on their side right now. Well, and with the full court pressure, you're not going to get a transition game unless you get the turnovers. Right. And then when they do, South is really fast. That's all there is to it. And they they get back before they can set up. All right, and Gill is uh, directing traffic up at the top. And off her thigh there was Brooke Berger, and it leads to a foul. Got the full crew. And it's going to stay underneath. <laughs> All right, 6.05 in the, th in the fourth quarter, folks. In this great D1 battle of three and five teams. Playoff advantage goes to 
the winner tonight with tough schedules in front of both teams. All right, well, this is good patient offense, but they can't be too patient as we're under six minutes here. And then going to the rack is uh, Lily Small. Can't get that one to drop. And back down the floor comes the, come the Panthers. Can't get it to drop there was Berger. But <laughs> as yeah. always, finding the loose ball is DeJesus. Oh, nice pass underneath, and it just goes out of bounds. They had Tanaka for the easy layup, and the pass just beat her. So now North. North's got to come down. And if I'm them, I start hoisting up the threes. But no matter what the result was of that sequence, it chewed up 20 it seconds. Right. Well, here comes St. Pierre trying to take him, take him in. De Jesus, she's got to have double-digit rebounds by now. <laughs> what a terrific young player. Just a sophomore really getting it done. Oh, weak side rebound. <laughs> you got to box out. Jump ball, going to go south way. I used to do the 10 seconds of war drill. You can't give up for 10 seconds until the whistle blows. And it taught the players to never give up on contact right. when you're boxing out. Right. One kid who's doing that for sure is DeJesus. I'd love to see the rebounding stats tonight. Almost Traveling a walk they did be call. Called there. They got to call travel. Yes, they are. Yep. All right, and that was big turnover. Traveling on Brooke Berger. If you're going to do something now, I mean something at all, you're going to do it now, North, and you got to chip away. But chip away you can. You got to have stops on D and maybe take a foul. <laughs> and that is only, that is three for South at we this point. We are still at a standstill scoring-wise. 46-34. Well, next foul on South will send North to the line, so they got to maybe play for that kind of a tactical move. Yep. And we're coming down to the five minute mark and down 12 are the Titans getting a, into a rever reverse the floor there. And Cotier goes to the goes down the lane, gets some contact, but not enough for the foul. I thought the ref was oh. on the verge. Gillis almost lost the handle. She's got to get it over the timeline because the clock's wow. ticking on that. And it's Morgan Gillis time. Yeah. The poise can't be underestimated. And Gotta she's watch directing out with traffic those long right now. Passes for South. Marin Lowell can do the same thing. Uh, and dagger. DeJesus. Dagger. I think that could write the uh, epitaph there. That might. DeJesus, she's got to be up around 20 points, and I really think double digit rebounds. We'll see it after the game here, but look for that stat sheet. That's impressive game. Double double out of a sophomore. 15 point lead now, as you see on your screen, and another turnover for the Titans. And the they're field. still running. Can't get that one to drop was uh, Tanaka. No dice. But they kick it out to the wing. Traveling. And Tanaka's there. And she took. Yeah, she, she stepped the out thing. of the gate. Yeah, the or it was those orange shoes. They you can't hide. Yeah. You know? Well, and to turn the screw one more bit, here comes O'Donnell with her excellent defense. And it's going to get harder and harder for North to create some offensive opportunities here. Good redirect there, finding Summer St. Pierre. She goes all the way down the ring and kicks it to the wing. Trying to drop it there is King. Can't do it from the wing. King at the wing. And we got a whistle, and it sticks with North. Foul, I believe, on O'Donnell. And that was Ross. Oh, Ross. Uh, Gillis yeah. is, is saying, don't worry about no, it. No, not Ross. Excuse me. Yeah, you're right, O'Donnell. It's O'Donnell, because Gillis went over to her and said, don't worry about it. I called the it. wrong 11. But, uh, you know, O'Donnell with that ferocious, quick defense overcooked the grits there for a second. 3.46 to play. It's a 15-point game. Well, and North is shooting two from here on in. Yep. So you want to take your offensive opportunities for sure, but if you can draw some contact, the clock stops and you get a chance to shave into the lead. And off the glass. Off the Didn't glass. call it, Tom. No letter. 49, 36, Gillis. All right, here's where you know what? You got a poised backcourt in the game right now for Nashua. Yeah, O'Donnell South. and Gillis. And then South. Tanaka, ever present on the wing. Yeah, exactly. And they but find she, her immediately. She hoists it up, probably a little too fast for coach's liking, and I can see some discontent over there. 324 and counting. Down uh, 13 are the Titans looking to create. They bang it around the perimeter. They find Summer St. Pierre. She front rims it off the glass. 
and into the hands of Marin Lowell, who gets it up court to O'Donnell. O'Donnell does go to the rim, jumps, and fires it up. It looked like Coach would rather she dribbled it out and reset the I offense. I don't know. She had a layup all the way until she slowed up. Just take the ball all the way in. She slowed up. 3.04 on the clock. It's 49-13 for the visitors from across the bridge in the battle of the bridge 2024 if you're version. Kurt Dutilly, you tell your team you still have time. There is time. Because you get to go to the foul line, and then if you can combine some free throws with some threes and keep South off the board, you, all of a sudden it can become a two possession game. But you gotta drop these babies. Yeah, exactly. And Cartier hurts the first to two and cuts it to 12. 304 back into the game comes Amber Wong, and out of the game, taking a seat for a bit, is Brooke Berger. She's got four personals. Don't need to put her at, in foul. Well, we're down toward the end of the game, but she's been a good role player tonight. Cotier gets, gets them both to drop, and it's 11-point lead, and here comes a playmaker, and really kind of a heart and soul type of player, Ariana Miller, number 12, a junior, for Coach Dutilly. Coming up on the three-minute mark, Rich McDonough here with Tom King doing color because he's far more colorful than I am. Anyway, re redirecting it and finding, taking a hard chance inside, looking for De Jesus. Can't get it. Tanaka finds it from the wing, rolls it over. Boy, the South rim and out. cannot buy a field goal. They are they are over uh, over the last five. All right, and they need a quick shot, but not just any shot. Good floater there by Lily Small. Yeah. Back rims it. Can't do it. Yeah, this is not an offensive display by either team. You know, it's... All right, we're at 2.30, and it still remains in a 49-38 lead. So she's got lead. a clear layup. She's all the way in and, and foul. And she draws one, yep. gets two, and one, yeah, folks. Yeah, and one. Well, I thought that big three was going to be the dagger, but that might do it after a little mini run by North. And we're back up to a 13-point lead with uh, Gillis with a chance to make it 14 at the 223 mark. Back into the game comes Marin Lowell. Great sub jobbing here by uh, John Bourgeois. Get a couple of minutes out of Wong and then back into the game comes Lowell, experienced junior and a good floor leader, Tom. And, and I, Gillis I think, does it. I think that ices it. 52-38 at the 222 mark. Miller handling the ball, looking for some help. Hasn't got much of it and gets trapped. You know, they, they're staying with their, their team philosophy is press and trap and be aggressive. That's because it's got to take them through the second half of the season and hopefully into the tournament. And, and North, if they can get some offense going, they can make it. It'd be nice to see both teams make it this year, but we will see. It's a long way well, to go. We've got um, a whole month to play, oh maybe yeah. even more. Well, I'm looking five out. weeks. Looking out, coming up for uh, the South Panthers are they're at Exeter, home against Concord, at Goffstown, which is playing real good ball at 7-1. and one. That's then, tough. Then they uh, host Bedford at 8-0. Oh. And then they have to trek out to Dover, 6-2. and two. That's a tough, That's a tough trifecta of yeah. games in a row. That so you really want to win is. your winnable games right here. For yeah, Coach, and this uh, is one of them for South. Bourgeois. And yeah. you've got winnable games against Exeter and Concord. They're all winnable. But you want to take care of business when you when business presents itself. 52 38, two Time minutes left. Time for North left. to start fouling, but they're not going to. Yeah. Coach uh, Dutilly may think it's all over, but. Yep. And there goes De Jesus down the line, finds some space, gets it to the glass, and start warming up the bus for certain if it wasn't already with glow plugs. And a little bit too much contact from uh, Corinne O'Donnell. And that'll send um, Schreiner to the line. She's a freshman, some good freshmen here. You've got four Frosh players, four sophomores for North. And up to the wow. line goes number 22, Kathleen Schreiner. She's played a good game in her moments, getting sub substitution battles going on here both ways. We're at 146 and counting. It's 54-38 for the visiting Panthers. Schreiner back rims one, first one and out. Nothing doing. 
And it stays at 146, and it's 54-38. Back into the game comes Marin Lowell. Tell you what, Coach Bourgeois is a master substitution artist, I think. Well, he's got, you know, he's got more depth on his team than he had last year in terms of kids that he trusts to get on the floor and play. Right. So he likes his team in terms of their chemistry. Look at Gillis all the way. One thing up. we can't misjudge here is that Aiden Walker, who's a junior for North, was looked to be a team leader coming into the season. Right. She got hurt in preseason and that's a big, out that's for the, the year. Yep, that's big. You know, that's a chemistry thing. Yep. But we had a timeout on the floor here. You take your chances, you take your shots, you, you keep coaching and win your winnable games, maybe get an upset or two, and then, like I said earlier, you got experience in a season where you don't have many experienced players and you don't want moral victories or to play for next year. But you get into the hunt and anything can happen, Tom. By the way, that the Jesus shot that uh, just hit is a two, not a three, because it was 52-38 when the when the shot was taken. All right, 39 now, 136 to play. Yeah, I was trying to get one ear on what Coach Dutilli is saying there, but a little too much gym noise. We got to get uh, the shotgun Mike and uh, Dylan Smith over there. <laughs> We got Dylan Smith. We got Tim O'Neill. We got I'll Frank Wallen. We got the uh, Emmy Emmy crew here tonight. The whole crew. All right, 136 to go, folks. Battle of the Bridge, Frame One. Michaela Boys' game Pete? coming up. Michaela yeah. Savage. I thought I, I, thought I was her. looking for her. I thought I saw her here. Maybe she went back to college early. 136 to play. 15-point game. But the Panthers with the ball, find, uh, Gillis finds Tanaka. It's a man-to-man -man defense right now. Yep, haven't, haven't seen much of that all game. Nope. South just content to dribble it out. Up 15 with no, all the doubt has been removed. This they game are in is no hurry. Go. Nope, this game is gonna go to South. The DeJesus is never afraid to put up a long bomb. No, no. But it front rims and out, and we're winding down toward one minute. Miller almost palmed that one, did not, and kicking it out to the wing and finding King. Man, a big who shot. finally drains that three. And a timeout. And a quick timeout by Dutilli. Yep. One minute even, Tom. 1-0-0. Zero, zero. It's a 12-point game. Well, I remember Maryland Duke. Back in 2003 or two, yes, yeah, 2003, and um, Duke this. was down 10 with wide, under a minute, and they won. Wide open three in that corner, as we see there on the replay. But as you see in this game, I mean, it's just North has outscored South since they were down 23 to seven. They've outscored them by two, by uh, uh, five uh, points, five, four points, four points. Cut a, a uh, yeah, yeah. 16 point lead to, uh, that's down to 12 with that three pointer. All right, neither of us are math majors. No, but <laughs> but that's a big deal because that 23 to 7 score was in the first quarter. Yeah. So over time, North has played a better game. It's the start of the game that basically threw them off. And one of my keys was no fast start <laughs> for, uh, for North. Unfortunately, the fast start belonged. There was a fast but I meant start. No, yeah, no fast no, start. No, don't allow South. a fast start. Right, don't a allow a fast start. Unfortunately, they did. All right, here comes another good freshman. Alcala inbounding it, finds Gillis, and she gets hard trapped. And she'll go to the, let's see, are they at the, uh, see the dots? The dots say only four. They so do now. So if you're north, you got to foul one more time. You do it on purpose. You foul. You got to foul here. Can't let South take it. I, in my mind, they should have done this a long time ago. Just to find some way to level the and they're not going level to do the it. playing field. Well, they try it right there. But remember the, well, the time on the clock. It. They're not doing it. Here we it. go. Ten seconds is not counting. Doing it. Good hands there by uh, by uh, King. They're going for the traditional steal. I guess Dutilli feels it oh, doesn't. DeJesus matter. misses long. Alcali can't nail it. But Gillis comes up with yet another dirty working person's rebound yep. and bangs it off the glass. And I think uh, the flicker of hope is probably dimmed. 
Almost a walk there. Miller kicks it out to the wing. Can't do it. Launching one up is St. Pierre at back rims. And we're at 15 seconds and counting. All that pressure is to no, for, to no avail and throwing it down court, finding Tanaka. Tanaka off the glass and, Tanaka, and trickles She's in. missed a few layups. She finally gets one there. Well, and, and Morgan Gillis and always has her chin up. Wow, what a game. All right, Rich McDonough, off I go. All right, Tom King. That's always a blast. He's got to do his business for the Telegraph and for Nashua ETV. And installment one of our Battle of the Bridge this evening, we had the girls game, the Panthers visiting the, uh, the Titans tonight. And at the end of the game, it's a 58-42 win for the, home, uh, for the visiting squad. And that runs their record to four and five and drops the Titans to three and six. And check the standings. It's about quality points, not necessarily just wins and losses. And it's the ever-evolving playoff run for all the teams in D1 New Hampshire and all the divisions. Anyway, that was a fun game. We're looking forward to game two. Stick around, folks. This is Rich McDonough for everybody at Nashua TV. We'll say hi to the crew when we get back, and we'll see you in the next game, folks. Thanks for joining us.